Hey, it's me. Open up. So that's how it's gonna be, huh? Fine. Leave the door closed then, if it makes you happy. But you and I, we really need to have a talk. You can't keep avoiding me forever, you know. And I don't want you to feel like you have to. I'm sure you just need some more time to come to terms with, uh, what I did to you. But I've noticed how tense and stressed out you are, and I don't like seeing you that way. And I don't like knowing that I'm the cause of it. So, let's just fix this, okay? Clear the air between us? I want you to feel at ease around me. I want us to get along. God, I feel so stupid talking to a door. Please, just let me in. Please? I only want to talk. I promise. I'm not going to put you under again. Unless you want me to. I could make you forget and make all this go away if you like. Okay, okay, I won't. Jeez, I was only offering. Then let's just talk, alright? Just open the door and let me in. No? What do you want from me? I just want things to be normal between us again. Is that too much to ask? What's it going to take to make you stop treating me like I'm some kind of monster? I can't help the powers that I have. And I need to use them to become stronger. But I swear to you, I won't use my powers on you ever again. Not unless you give me explicit permission. Now, will you please just open this damn door? I can't just leave you alone. I understand that you're afraid of what I could do to you, but you're being way too obvious about it. I need you to stop, and I need you to stop now. You're going to start making people wonder why, and I don't need that kind of attention. I can't have anybody find out what I can do. If word got around, I could be in serious trouble. So, I need you to be cool, alright? How about you open the door and we go get dinner together or something? You have to eat anyway. And we can go somewhere nice and public so you can trust that I won't try anything. We can just hang out. Get to know each other a little better. No? But... Uh, I'm so tired of this. You're acting like I put you through some kind of horrible ordeal. It wasn't that bad, was it? I mean, you have to admit it felt good. When I put you under my spell. Didn't it? Come now, be honest with yourself. Think about it. Think about what it was like. When you were looking at my pendant. I wonder if you can still picture it in your mind. My pendant. The shape of it. The color of the gemstone. The way it caught the light as I dangled it in front of your eyes. Spinning it slowly around and around. And around. I'm sure you remember it very well. And I'm sure you remember how good it made you feel. To look at my pendant. And to listen to my voice. And it's alright if you start feeling that way again. It's perfectly alright. Just listen to my voice and let your mind drift back to that wonderful feeling. That wonderfully pleasant, familiar feeling of sinking. It makes you feel so comfortable, so warm and safe and relaxed. It's so nice to let go of everything and to just listen. And you know that you don't have to pay attention to everything I'm saying to you. The 
that you can just let my voice wash over you. Let my words slip directly into your mind as you sink for me. Floating away on the sound of my voice. Being carried along. And sinking. Deeper and deeper. Deeper and deeper down. Sink for me. Sinking deeper and deeper. Feeling so wonderfully floaty and heavy and sleepy. So very, very sleepy. And that's all right. Because you can just go to sleep. Sleep. Can you hear me? Good. Open your eyes and stand up. And open the door. Finally. I did promise you I wouldn't use my powers on you. And I haven't. So far. I don't need my powers to hypnotize you. But they do make it so much more convenient. So... I want you to give me permission to use my powers on you. Whenever I feel like it. Look at me. You give me permission. Not for me. Good. I'm glad that's out of the way. You really should have agreed to talk to me, you know. Now. Go lie down on your bed. On your back. Mm hmm. Let me just climb right on top of you. There we go. Perfect. Now, look into my eyes. That's it. Eyes on mine. I've got you completely at my mercy now. You do realize that, right? You're on your comfortable bed and nobody's going to disturb us for hours. I could brainwash the ever-living shit out of you. And believe me, after all the trouble you gave me, I'm tempted. If I felt like it, I could rewrite your entire mind. By tomorrow morning, you would remember and believe whatever I wanted you to. I'm not going to. But I want you to know that I could. <sighs> I'm not even going to make you forget about, well, everything. Even though I probably really, really should. It's just that I don't think you would ever forgive me if I did something like that. You would know about it, of course, but I would. Our friendship would always just be a lie. So, please don't make me regret this, all right? Wake up. All the way up. <laughs> well, this is a bit awkward. Let me get off of you. I'm sorry about hypnotizing you again just now. I did just want to talk, but you didn't leave me any other choice. Why do you care so much about being hypnotized anyway? Do you want to hurt me or betray my secret? I didn't think so. So what does it matter if I make it impossible for you to do it? It's not that I don't trust you, but... All right, it is a little bit that. There's always a chance that you could reveal something by accident, even if you don't mean to. 
And you would be far from the first person to lose control of their power and really hurt somebody. I don't see why I should take risks like that, just because you don't trust me. Look, if I wanted to turn you into my slave or something, we wouldn't be talking about this. The only reason you're able to even wonder about what I'm doing to you is because I'm not messing with your mind that much. Trust me, if I wanted to control your mind, you wouldn't be aware of it. I already had the perfect opportunity to completely take over, and I didn't do a thing. So stop worrying about it, alright? I'm not some kind of villain, I just like to challenge myself. Push my limits, do things that are difficult. Like hypnotizing you to mindlessly obey any command I give you, if I word it a certain way. <laughs> yeah, I know you really don't like that idea. Your subconscious rebelled against it too. But that's exactly what makes you such a great challenge. Such a great way to hone my skills. And it's harmless if I don't actually start ordering you around, right? Although, I do have to check if my programming is actually sticking. Now, don't I? So, look into my eyes. Pretty please. <laughs> yep, seems like it's working just fine. Oh, relax, I'm only having a bit of fun. Seeing you obey like that is just such a rush. I will only ever make you do harmless things, okay? I promise. I'm not going to hurt you. But if there's anything that ever does bother you, just talk to me, alright? I like that I can be myself around you. I want you to be my friend. So, truce? You act normal around me, and I'll refrain from messing with your mind. Too much. I'm really glad. You know, since you haven't eaten yet, how about I make dinner for you tonight? Please, I insist. Mind control isn't the only thing I'm good at. I also make a pretty mean chicken alfredo. It's the least I can do after I ruined your day. I didn't mean to, but I realized I made a bit of a mess of things. Oh, by the way, I've got a couple ideas on how to help you unlock your powers, too. You're not gonna light them, though. Why, yes, they do involve me hypnotizing you again. How did you guess? <laughs> well, we'll figure it out tomorrow. First, food. Would you kindly walk me to my dorm again? Hmm. <laughs> 